Disney are the bad guys. They are evil. They are an evil corporation. 15,000 is nothing for these guys. That's nothing. Wow. When I heard this story going around, I didn't want to believe it. Like, I refused to believe it. I was like, oh, no, no, no. Then when I heard more and more about it and I heard how things had developed, up, I was like, hang on, excuse me? Really? I was like, surely not. <laughs> so I think that's the best place to start. Always read the fine print. <laughs> Always read the fine print. Anybody who's like read like a Spawn comic, like the, is it Mel Bogley, the main villain in the Spawn comic, he actually says that's in like issue one. Always read the fine prints. You know, it's the devil who says that to um, Al Simmons. Always read the small prints. I thought that, now I don't, I've not signed up for Disney Plus, but I get Disney Plus content through legal means. No one needs to know. I still get Disney Plus legally, legally, legally. Um, legal means. So I don't pay for it. And I'm glad I don't. Guys, read that small print. <laughs> because if you sign up for Disney Plus and something happens to you at Disneyland or at a place that is owned by Disney, you can't take them to court. Because it says that's in the fine print. So if I signed up to watch X-Men 97, or I signed up to watch Simpsons, or any, or so on so watch that bomber Star Wars show, like the Aqua Brick, and something happens to me at Disneyland, because of a Disney employee, I can't take them to court. Because I sent them, because I signed up to Disney freaking applause. It's insane! It's insane! Because I signed up to Disney Plus, if something happens to me at Disneyland, I can't take them to court. So you think I'm lying? Okay, let's 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 check this out. According to court filings, so because Tanks won. So basically, this is a lady who died, I believe, at a Disney restaurant because she's allergic to peanuts and be, and based and they, they they thought that they thought there were not going to be any so they thought there would not be any peanuts there. There were peanuts, had an allergic reaction, she died later that day, even though they were sure that there were not going to be any peanuts. So let's look, look, look at the case. According to Kofan, it's because Tang Swan had a severe allergy to dairy nuts. Piccolo claims that he so Piccolo is obviously the the the, the husband and the victim is Tang Swan. Piccolo claims that he and his wife both questioned the restaurant waiter numerous times when they dined their last year about allergen-free food. He alleges they were assured that her order would be allergen-free. But shortly after eating dinner, Piccolo claims that his wife suffered a severe acute allergic reaction and died later that day on the 5th of October. The medical examiner's investigation determined that her cause of death was anaphyx laxus due to elevated levels of dairy and not in her system. The lawsuit against Walt Disney Parks and Resorts states Piccolo is arguing the wait staff was negligent, which they were, if what he's saying is true, and is suing Disney for damages exceeding 50,000 per the complaint. Guys, well, I'm, I, I want to go back to that 50,000. So please, just keep that in mind. I want to go back to that 50,000. Um, Disney, in a court filing reviewed by The Guardian, has responded and argued that the case ought to be dismissed and settled out of court because Piccolo agreed to the company's terms of use, which states that users agreed to settle any disputes with the company out of court via arbitration when he signed up for a one-month free trial of Disney Plus in 2019 and again in 2023, when he purchased the, purchased the Disney Plus theme park tickets using his Disney account. So... A man's wife died at a Walt Disney Resort due to negligence from Walt Disney staff. And he rightfully cannot take them to court because he signed up 
free trial towards that bomb-ass Mandalorian, that piece of crap. I could, nonsense. It's because I signed up to watch Acolyte and Mandalorian, free trial. Something happens to me on your premises. I can't take it to court. I have to settle the disputes in-house. Oh, but it, but there's so so they got attacked, rightfully so. And guys are like, I'm pulling my Disney Plus. This is this is evil. Oh, sorry, sorry. Fifty thou, fifty thou. Disney is one of the biggest companies on the planet. You know that MCU thing. You know what's it called? Like Infinity War. You know End Game. You know all that money. That's Disney. You know Star Wars. That's Disney. You know the guys who bought Fox. That's Disney. You know ESPN. That's Disney. They are bill b b b billionaires. Fifty thousand is nothing for these guys. It's nothing. It's zilch. It's nothing for these guys. So the fact that you are Disputing 50,000. Hick, bro, he can do more. Based on what you did, you can sue for way more. If I was a lawyer, I'd be like, based on what's happened, and you know it's Disney, man, get these guys for a few hundred thou. A few hundred thou. 50 thou. <laughs> but guys, okay, so they, they got attacked. People went to them and said, wait, wait, Disney, what do you do? What do you do? This is ridiculous. It's messed up. It's cr it's effed up. When I heard it, I was like, I didn't want to believe it. I know Disney are messed up. I'm like, this is way messed up. This is like crazy. They got attacked. They got abused, rightfully so. So they responded. So um, Disney has decided to waive its rights to arbitration and allow the matter to proceed in court for the recent wrongful death lawsuit where they attempted to use a widower's Disney Plus subscription to arbitrate. Do you know how messed up that is? Just that head on it is crazy. At Disney, we strive to put humanity above all other considerations. B.S. B.S. If there was not public outcry, you know have done this. It took days before they released the statements. So if there was not a public outcry, you would have stopped... A grieving husband whose wife died at the hands of your employee's negligence, you have not allowed them to go into court and sell and force them into a settlement because they signed up for Disney Plus. <laughs> so, and as people are saying, it's like, no, 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 no. You don't put humanity above all other, other considerations. You put money. Because once that happened and there was a public outcry, people were pulling their Disney Plus accounts and the perception was bad. So your money was being harmed. So at the end of the day, no, your number one consideration is money. It's money over any, and everything else. So don't give me any of that crap. You don't put humanity over money. You put profits over humanity. Because you only release the statement when your profits were being harmed by people pulling their Disney Plus accounts and insulting you and abusing you. Perception is reality. Perception goes hand in hand with profits. So if Disney's perception is about where you are seen to be evil, you seem to be immoral, you seem to be unethical, that harms your profits. So it wasn't about humanity. No, Disney puts profits above humanity and you only release the statements when people were going against you and guys there's, there's another story out there i hope this isn't true disney denies dad's request to put spider-man on four-year old son grave i hope this is not true for your old son as it, i've always said spider-man is the most popular character of all time <laughs> shout out to batman and superman spider-man my guy is the most popular character of all time because every single child, their favorite character is Spider-Man. Ask any child, their favorite character is Spider-Man. Ask any child, they've got a Spider-Man bag. Foiled kid obviously had an illness, a sickness. Favorite character was Spider-Man. He wants his Spider-Man to be put on the son's grave. But due to licensing and them owning the licensing, Disney apparently did, denied the dad's request. Do you know how effed up that is? You know the story. You know the particular situation. You know what has happened to this child, which is an anomaly based on them getting this rare 
disease that's an anomaly. And all he wants is, man, just as a memory, let me just put Spider-Man on my son's grave. And due to licensing you, say no. I don't care what the business, I don't give it down by legal. That's messed up. You see, when we grew up, you know, when we grew up, this is what we thought Disney. Remember, remember, remember this logo? You see this logo, and you're like, yeah, man, I'm going to start Disney. I'm going to do some Robin Hood, Bowser the Great Master Detective, Aladdin, Sword in the Stone, you know. Growing up, bro, Disney was, was magical. It was wonderful. It was a place where you could escape it. They were the good guys. They were the magical guys. They were the guys to fulfill your dreams and make you happy as a, as a, a kid. A kid's best dream. That's when you was young. As you grow older, you begin to see truths. This is the real Disney. This, this, that's the real. Disney is evil. They are an evil corporation that's hide behind. We make stuff for kids and we make stuff to make you happy. They're an evil corporation. I remember, um, so I went to so I went to Paris for holiday, and my hotel was near Disneyland Paris. And I remember I was actually at the gates about to go in because I wanted to see Captain America's shield. And I was like, no, mm -mm, no, sorry, no. <laughs> like Disney, they're an evil corporation that only care about profits and only care about money. Because you have to understand something about greed. The rich don't want to get poor. The rich don't want to remain where they are. The rich want to get richer and richer and richer. They want to maintain their riches, but they want more and more and more and more and more. Like Disney, they are filthy rich. And they are so greedy with how much money they have. They will not allow a grieving man to take you to court for 50,000. To fill 50,000. And you've got billions. This, they, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are despicable. They're a despicable company. And you're looking at how much they own and how much they've ruined and just how many properties that they've dis destroyed. But this stunt right here, it's it's dis like it's disgusting. Like again, I told you, I I watch Disney Plus through my own means. <laughs> okay, through my own means, I watch the, the, the Disney Plus. You know, and it's it's legal. I don't pay for it, but it's it's legal. Basically, I use a, a friend's Disney Plus. That, that, that's how I use Disney Plus. I use a friend's Disney Plus. Okay, so but no heck no, I'm never paying for Disney Plus. Never. See, I already wasn't paying for it before, but now. Now, no way. I'll continue using my friends Disney Plus. I will not. I'm not giving these pricks a penny. I'm not giving these pricks a penny of my cash. No way. No way. Like I told you guys, this is Disney. They're the bad. When I grew up, I thought they were the good guys. I thought, hey, Disney, good. No, Disney are the bad guys. They are evil. They're an evil corporation. They're an evil corporation. Who are just obsessed with getting more and more money? Look how much stuff that they own. Disney wants to pretty much own pretty much every entertainment company, and they probably will because they're so rich. They have so much money that these guys can own. We we can we can come to a stage where it's literally Disney and Amazon that own everything. We'll I guarantee you we will reach a stage where two companies will own everything. Amazon and Disney. Because you're seeing how major here, acquisition, acquisition, major acquisition, major acquisition. Soon, two companies, they'll own everything. Absolutely everything. But man, but keep in mind, Disney is evil. 